All right, so we out at his NTJ water sport Cebu, and we are doing uh, parasailing, jet ski, banana boat, and the helmet diving. Didn't really care for the banana boat part, but I mean for the price, it was just like three hundred pesos more, so it didn't really make a difference. But yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. Water calm. They're doing about 15 to 20 minutes per activity. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty nice day to come out and, and do this. Water calm. Not choppy at all, no set of wind. And then right over there is the dive club and the, the dive prices. Really, really good. Um, so I will probably come back try to do a couple of dives, maybe a night dive um, and see how things go so we'll get back when we get any water That was it with the jet ski. We're going to do the parasailing now. I would get back on once we, we get up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
If if all you can afford to do this, you definitely need to do it. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's in the Philippines. <laughs> if it's in the Philippines, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's in the Philippines or if it's back home or whatever. Right? Let's do this. Let's do this. We're back down again. So we're supposed to be heading to the last part. We're supposed to be um, the helmet diving. But I have no idea where we're going. Like the driver trying to kidnap us. I know we're in this just like little side road thingy. I don't know. So, anyway, we are wait and see. I am hungry today. Hey, we'll catch back up when we reach. Hopefully, I can take the camera down. Um, if it's under 10 meters deep, so yeah. so all right. So, we got to the dive shop. Um, we're heading out to the water now. Oh, can't find a slippers to fit my foot. So, as usual, I am bare feet. The sun is extremely hot. Uh, I'm going to do the what do you call it? Ooh. Helmet diving. And um you see how that how that go? Ooh. Right now it's just extremely hot. My foot on fire. Yeah. But this is pretty nice though. Yeah, so um I thought we were going to be kidnapped, but we actually had somewhere pretty nice. Alright, fingers crossed. The camera is supposed to be waterproof up to 10 meters. I really not sure. I hoping so. Otherwise I would cry. But yeah, we're out in the water. We're just going to the spot to do the, um, the helmet diving. And this will be the first time I've stopped the diving like regular diving. But this will be a new one. So, 
Je suis avec toi. Ah, nous pouvons plus dédicacer à ça va. Yeah, boy.
this was so much failure no matter how much i tried to do this i just wasn't getting the bubbles to make the ring um but yeah he he had this bubble ring down thing pack and like he was even doing it with one hand and as he fingers so that was crazy It was good and the camera survived. <laughs> Alright, so it may be a bit cloudy. Um, I didn't wipe the lens, just come out of the water for the camera survive. I hope. I hope. So this was the entire interesting day. My touch base when we reach back. Alright, so I think I thought I done touch base day for the day. Um, so it was a, it was a good day. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, I would not lie, it was a bit on the expensive side, um, especially for the period of time. Now we say it was a bit expensive, but it was extremely nice. Like I would definitely do this again, and I want to come back and dive as well. So. We can take a look. Tide going down, it was high tide a while ago. Tide going down, but the water pretty nice. Um, yeah, this is a must do. Like, I mean, even if you're home, even if you're home and, and you're not traveling, try the, the parasailing. Um, try the parasailing. The helmet diving was pretty cool as well. Uh, it is a bit costly. It is a bit costly, especially for the, the length of time, but definitely worth it, definitely. Alright, that is it. Later.